Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will continue with our series of expert Wi-Fi video review, the EVA63 access point. Before anything else, I would like to thank our friends from ASUS Philippines for sending us this unit for product test and review. We already done a previous video involving the EVA63, partner with expert Wi-Fi router, configured and show its capabilities. But the actual range test is not included in that video. But for today's video, we will show you on how to configure this one standalone and show you the actual performance for the range and of course, gaming as well. Now, let us unbox the unit. For the specification, it has gigabit Ethernet port that supports PoE, dual band 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi network, power consumption of 10 watts, capable of AI mesh, for internal antenna, 512 MB of RAM, and a lot more. I'll just include the link on the description below on where you can actually check the full specification. Okay guys, now for the configuration, of course, first things first is you need to power on your EVA63. You can actually connect it to a PoE powered switch or currently we are using the power cable that comes with the unit. And of course, we have here a red cable. The red cable is coming from our source of internet. In our case, this will be a standalone access point and will be connected directly to our modem router from Converge. Okay, then after that one, make sure it is already powered on. And as you can see, there's a blue light indicator, meaning that we are ready to connect to this one and configure it. So I'll be using my mobile device to configure this EBA63. So the default SSID for this one is the ASUS underscore 40 EVA63, connect to that one. And the password, guys, again, is also located at the bottom part of this access point. It's Playboy underscore 2623. Okay. Playboy 2623, then hit join. Okay, and now we are connected on the EVA63 default SSID. Now we're going to get the ASUS Expert Wi-Fi application that can be downloaded on Google Play Store or Apple App Store. So click on that one. Then, of course, we have a plus sign at the top part of this application. So click on the plus sign. Okay, and set up new network. Okay, and choose setting device. We will be using the EBA63. Click on that one. Searching for ASUS router. Okay, key prime Wi-Fi. Okay, it was able to detect the expert Wi-Fi EBA63, then get started. Okay, then after a couple of seconds, it was able to detect the internet connection, and it is asking if there is any special requirement from your ISP. In our case, Converge, no special requirement, just click Next. Then after that one, we have your default Wi-Fi SSID. You can change this one if you want to, and you can also separate the 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi network. So... Let's change the password for this one. For testing, let's just put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Then after that one, maybe let's separate 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi network. It will have the same password on the 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi network. Then click next. Then setting up your network, applying your settings. Okay guys, and after a couple of minutes, two to three minutes, it was disconnected and expert Wi-Fi wants to join Wi-Fi network 5G. Click on join. Okay. Okay. Network optimization. And we are already connected on the Wi-Fi network. Let's try to double check again. Okay. We are directly connected to the 5 GHz Wi-Fi network because a while ago we have set up this access point. And let's just wait for this one to complete 
the installation or the configuration. Okay, and it seems that the configuration is completed. We have here the details that we have entered a while ago and click finish. Okay guys, and everything is now configured and we have here the basic information under home. We have the topology, main network and connected clients and the utilization of CPU and RAM and we have real-time traffic. And aside from that one, the connected clients, we have one wireless and one wired, meaning that the access point, the AV63 is also able to detect that the LAN cable is connected to another device. Okay, then aside from that one, we have here the dashboard, wired and wireless, of course the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network on which devices are connected to the 5 and our mobile phone is currently connected to the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network and system status as well and aside from that one you have here SDN guys under the SDN unfortunately if you'll be using this one standalone and you're creating a guest network or other self-defined network it cannot actually have internet connection I have tried it several times and maybe that's the reason if it's standalone. But if you want to fully utilize the SDN self-defined network, you better get your ecosystem with the ASUS complete set or maybe just get the EBG19P router to fully utilize that self-defined network and the other features as well. But as far as I'm concerned, everything is now configured. We should now be able to have internet connection. So let's try to check. Okay, ASUS AI Mesh. Okay, and as you can see, we now have internet connection. Now for our actual test, we will do it first inside the house, then later on, we will do it outside or in open range. Okay guys, right now we are connected on the ASUS 40 EBA63 5 GHz Wi-Fi network, and we're going to perform a speed test, baseline testing in front of this EBA63. And converge, and of course, let's check the server, PASIG, and hit go. And for our baseline testing, we are only getting 499 Mbps per download and 114 Mbps per upload. Now let's try to move on the bedroom. Okay, right now we are on the bedroom and we're going to hit test again. Okay, and currently we're getting 180 Mbps per download while 61.4 per upload. Now let's try to move on another location. Okay guys, right now we are on the ground floor and let's try to check on where we are still connected. We're still connected on the 5 GHz Wi-Fi network but very low signal. But we're going to hit go again. Okay, and we're only getting 48.7 Mbps for download while 6.43 for upload. That is on the 5 GHz Wi-Fi network. Let's try to check on the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network, EBA63, enter the password. Okay, right now we are on the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network and go back to the speed test. A while ago for the 5 GHz Wi-Fi network here on the ground floor, we are only getting 48 and 6 and let's hit test. Okay, and currently we have a better speed on the 2.4 GHz here on the ground floor. It is 75.6 Mbps for download while 43.6 Mbps for upload. Now let's try to move on the roof deck. Okay, and currently we are on the roof deck. And just to make sure, we are still connected on the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network. And let's hit test on this location. Okay, and currently we are only getting 17.7 .7 Mbps per download while 24.4 Mbps per upload on the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network here on the roof deck. And let's try to change connection. Let's try to check if we can connect to the 5 GHz Wi-Fi network. Four. Okay, connected to the 5 GHz Wi-Fi network. And let's hit test again. Okay, and we are only getting 10 Mbps for download while 3.02 Mbps for upload on the 5 GHz Wi-Fi network here on the roof deck. It was able to penetrate concrete walls and floors and we were able to have internet connection on all floors but of course we need to know how stable it is using Mobile Legends as our test bench. Because if we will be able to have a good gaming experience on Mobile Legends, it means that we will have a reliable connection 
from the EBA 63 access point. Okay guys, currently we are connected on the ASUS 5 GHz Wi-Fi network for the EBA 63 and we're getting a single digit latency just standing in front of the EBA 63. Okay, let's try to move further away. Okay. And maybe let's try to move on the other side of this concrete wall. Okay. Still single digit latency on this location. Okay. Still good signal. Still good latency. Okay, let's try to move further away. Maybe let's try to go on the ground floor. Okay, here is the EVA 63 and we're going downstairs. Okay guys, we are now here on the ground floor and we're getting single digit latency as well. Okay, let's try to verify again on where we are currently connected. We're still connected on that 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network of that EBA 63. Oh. Okay, still good latency even here on the ground floor. Time to time, there is a jump to 2 digit latency but it's not that high. Okay, as you can see that one. Okay, but still good latency and good gaming performance even here on the ground floor. And that performance was amazing as well with single to two digit latency with concrete flooring in between floors. That was a great gaming experience on Mobile Legends. Now let us try to move outside the house to see on how far it can give us wireless connection. Okay guys, right now we are connected on the 5 GHz Wi-Fi network of the EBA63 outside the house and we're going to do a baseline testing here. Okay, in our baseline testing, we're getting 417 Mbps for download while 348 Mbps for upload. Okay guys, I would include on the description or on this page on how far we are currently on the EBA 63. I believe this is around 20 meters. Okay, and currently we are getting 199 Mbps per download while 253 Mbps per upload on this location. Okay, and on this location, let's try to check our connection. Okay, we are still connected on the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. Okay, we are still connected on the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network on this location. So, let's hit test again. Okay, and currently we are getting 92.9 Mbps per download while 74.9 Mbps per upload on this location. Okay, let's check our connection. Okay, still we are currently connected on the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network on this location. And let's try to check if it's still viable to have internet connection on this location. Okay, and now we are getting 31.5 Mbps for download while 6.67 Mbps for upload. And let's try to double check our connection. Okay, I believe we have been redirected or reconnected to the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network. That's why our signal strength is actually up. Let's try to move further away. Currently, we are on this location and we still have a full signal strength coming from the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network of the EBA63. And let's try to do a speed test. Okay, and currently we are able to get 16.7 Mbps for download and 2.52 for upload on this location. For the summary, we were able to have a 5 GHz Wi-Fi connection on the first range around 27 meters and up to 75 meters range. It was a good connection but when we tried to move around 120 meters away, we got disconnected from the 5 GHz Wi-Fi network and we were able to get internet connection on the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network with decent signal and connectivity 
Then, at the last stop at around 146 meters away, we were still able to have internet connectivity. It might not that be stable, but somehow still usable for browsing the web. For gaming on that location, it is not possible for we are getting triple digit latency on that location and it is not actually great for Mobile Legends games and other online gaming as well. When we try to move closer at around 120 meters, gaming improve a lot on 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. We are getting single to double digit most of the time, which is still payable. But when we get closer on the 75 meters range, we are getting higher latency somewhere around 80 to 90-ish. And the reason for that one is there is a lot of Wi-Fi signal on that location. Then last part, around 27 meters range, it was great gaming experience on the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network and also 5 GHz Wi-Fi network. But guys, always remember that range is viable if you have a clear line of sight from the EVA63. If there is a car, person, umbrella blocking the line of sight, you will get some hiccup and sometimes you'll get a higher latency and some instances you might get disconnected. Now for the verdict, guys, this access point, the EVA63, is intended for indoor use, for business and home network. And its performance is great. It was able to give good connection to a three-story house or building while it was located on the second floor. The 100 meters range outside the house is already a plus. No doubt that this is a great access point that should be included in your shopping list. And would definitely recommend to build it with the ASUS EVG19P to fully utilize other features like the self defined network and other things. For my personal rating, I would give it a 5-star performance-wise, solid performance. But overall, I would give it only a 4.5-star rating since it does not offer a lot of features compared to other access points available out there. Or maybe it's still starting with their access point or business lineup. But if you want a clean setup, minimal design, POE-powered, Great raw performance. This one is definitely for you. And guys, I think that is all for now. If you have comment and suggestion, comment down below or message me at jkchavison.me. Again, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe and bye. But I'm so frustrated